Fishing Wisconsin 2012 here today. Today I'm just going to be bringing you a little uh, little tip segment on uh, flipping and pitching. Uh, mainly we're going to focus in on pitching because flipping I think is just, I don't think it's a thing of the past. It's just I don't use it that much. I don't think a lot of people really use it that much. But uh, I'm going to just touch on pitching for uh, you know the basics and a little bit of expert stuff for kids who have already been doing this for a while. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're pitching is you're going to want to have a bait cast rod. Uh, a lot of kids have bait cast rods. Uh, you, you know, you can really range it from anywhere from 6'6 six, six to, you know, a lot of guys got 7 foot 6s, 8 footers, 8 foot flipping sticks, you know. I don't really find that necessary. I personally like a shorter rod. So my uh, my my pitching stick is, uh, is my swing jig rod. And this is the bait that I pitch. This is the 3 8 ounce Terminator swim jig, just a black blue color. Uh, got a nice flat head on it, and with my trailer, my trailer is really flat, so that also helps you a little bit, gives you a little bit more balance, a little more aerodynamic uh, stuff. But uh, I got 14 pound fluorocarbon, and usually when you're flipping and pitching, you're doing it around some amount of cover, you're just not flipping a jig in open water. Uh, you're usually flipping and pitching in some decent cover. Uh, I just got the 14 on because I fish a lot of docks, so if I got a fish that gets me around a dock pole, at least if I don't get the fish, I can get my jig out without it busting off, because jigs are pretty expensive nowadays, but, uh, first thing that you're going to want to do, though, when you're flipping and pitching, is you want to have your, you want to have your feet square to your target, and what I mean by that is a lot of times when you're, like, shooting and stuff, people ask you, okay, square up to your target, where your feet are pointed, your feet and your shoulders are pointed at your target, and your feet are about shoulder width apart, you know, you're standing on a boat, standing on, you know, gravel or whatever, if you're a shore fisherman, and you want to have your bait parallel to your reel. Now, what this does is this is actually a, a unit of measurement, basically. It gives you the, the right amount of line for when you're penduluming it. What I mean by penduluming is just swinging that bait, to get it to start, you know, start its action. Um, basically, what that does is, uh, it just gives you the right amount of line, so you're not, you know, got line way back here, and you go to swing it, and it just hits the water. It, uh, it actually, it'll keep it elevated off the water. Now, the second thing you want to do is just all it is with your rod tip is just a, like almost a flick, like a slow flick. And basically, all the, all you're trying to do is keep this bait parallel to the water. Now you don't want it this far off the water, you want to keep it down here, you know, within the, the 6 to 4 inch range if you can. And what that's going to do is when that thing hits the water, it's not going to go, Kdoom! it's just going to slide into the water. Almost so you can see a diver, you know, they're very aerodynamic when they hit the water and it makes a little bit of a splash but not that much. And it, you're not going to be scaring those bass off then. But uh, after you flip that rod, when you're raising that rod tip, you're going to let go at about, I'd say, between a 3 and 6 o'clock. Halfway between 3 and 6. So, like, halfway between, I guess, it's about a 4. So, you're going to let go at about 4 when your bait's at 4 o'clock. And then you're going to release your spool when your bait's at about 7 or 8. Now, that's going to start, you know, that's going to get the bait to slide along just nicely. So, just sliding along that rod tip. Uh... That's about it. I'm going to go show, actually demonstrate this. I'm going to do a voiceover on how on what's going on. So, uh, you know, it's been Fishing Wisconsin, I guess, and I'll, I'll see you guys when I get out in the hallway. I'm just pitching into some red solo cups. You can pick them up for like 50 cents at Walmart or whatever. I just use it for practice, and practice makes permanent, really. And uh, if you practice now, when you get out on the water, you're not going to be struggling, wasting time, you know, practicing for your first time and stuff like that. You can really just get out there and start perfecting your technique um so i'm gonna get out here all right guys start so flipping. basically you see me holding that bait parallel to the reel right there uh and just that little arm motion making the parallel and as you can see when my arm swings it's just a little flick of the wrist basically uh and it's just a nice smooth motion you're not going to be going really you know really fast do not what i'm saying is don't flick it really hard it's more of just a slide you want to slide your rod up. See, when you flick it like that, you're gonna get backlash, and you're not gonna have you're not gonna have a fun time. Uh, this is just a side view, so you can see my body language and stuff like this. 
Um, this is basically just showing you what to do. See, like a nice smooth flick. See how my wrist was never jittered or anything. It's just one smooth flick in the upward direction, and that'll get your bait sliding nice along the water. Um, just a few more pitches here, and uh, just let you guys see what's going on. Uh, then we're going to switch to uh, to target view, as like I like to call it. So now we're at target view, and you'll get to see actually where I release the bait. And as you can see, just flipping it kind of right against camera. Watch how f like close the bait comes to the ground. That's a uh, that's really useful in getting that uh, under boat docks and stuff like that. That was kind of a high one right there, but a lot of times I don't know. It's just hard because I got a big beam over my head. Just like that one was good. It's about four four inches away from the the carpet there. That was a really high one again. But I'm trying to excite a couple cups next to the camera, and I was trying to see that one was really good right there. Kind of launched the bait in there. Uh, it really helps you getting that bait into the under them boat docks and stuff like that. So uh, this has been Fishing Wisconsin. I hope all you guys have a good day and a happy Easter. Watch out for Tackle Warehouse unboxing this week. Uh, it's coming on the way.